But anyway, I was in New York, took the mega bus, got back home uh, like 4 a.m. last night or this morning. So I'm very, very excited to be here. Yeah. But no, New York was gay on Friday and Saturday. Oh, yeah. And you then were in... uh, I did Frantic at the stand on Monday, which was cool because nice. there's good comics there. But Friday and Saturday was, uh, it, was a, there's, it was just like an alt comedy room. Sure. Mm-hmm. And they Friday they liked me, but Saturday I haven't I haven't eaten a dick like that in a long time. I was, was sweating. I could feel oof. my I could get, feel my forehead was there sweating. A guy that- it was a it was a weird a weird scene because like they're all new and they're all like this is cool. Yeah, yeah. So they're all wearing cool clothes and like they're it's like it's punk fun, rock man. scene yeah. of comedy. Yeah, <laughs> and they're all fucking weird. Yeah. And uh, got that anxiety, bro. And I'm better than them, so I was just <laughs> hanging out among them, and they showed me no respect because obviously they have no fucking idea <laughs> they who didn't I kiss am. The hand at all, they yeah. did not kiss the they ring at all. They didn't bend the knee, huh? In fact, they almost wanted me to bend the knee to <laughs> them. <laughs> How so? Just kind of their arrogance of like, this is my mic, man. What are you doing here? I'm like, I was on really? the other- not, you know, that was, I mean, again, it was probably all in my head, but yes, that was the vibe. <laughs> so the conversations felt like they were like looking down slightly upon Slightly condescending yeah. and like slightly. They hit you with a lot of like, oh, cool, man. They'll be like, yeah, yeah. So, oh, cool, man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there That's, was, that or like they'll me. do a bit while they're talking to you. Yeah. Like they'll approach you with a, like I was standing there talking to my friend, Burke. Yeah. Yo, shout out, Burke. What up, boy? What's up, dog? He loves this shit. He's you know, a man. Burke. Yeah, 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 Burke. He's great. a man. But uh, we were down there and like this kid walked up. And actually, there's like 30 Gorons there. Nice. Now, you really? guys will know that example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yes, yeah. It's like 30 fucking crazy people. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's nice to have one Goron yeah, yeah. in Philly. Yeah. One is good. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he's wacky. He's funny. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. But then when you have 30 of those guys just packed in a 10 o'clock open mic and a... Uh, it's a night. It's too but anyway, much. this kid. Sorry, Gorn. But uh, <laughs> this kid just, just starts standing next to me and my friend while we're talking. And I was like, oh, are you in line for the bathroom? Because I was like, we're not. You're good. And he was like, nope, just eavesdropping on you guys. And I was like, oh, here comes a bit. Yep. And he was like, sometimes I just like to eavesdrop, and then I just walk into a conversation, and I say too much, and then people are getting, they get uncomfortable, and they don't know how to stop me. And uh, then, and I was just like, dude. Stop. And I honestly thought to myself, I was like, because I just had a horrible set. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. fuming. I was just trying to drink a fucking PBR and fucking <laughs> get the fuck out of there. Uh, yeah. This kid starts doing a fucking bit to me. And I was like, I should punch him in the fucking face. Yeah. That'd have been I was seriously, I was like, I should punch him in the face. And then I, I thought to myself, I was like, well, why not just tell him to go away? Yeah. yeah. No. That's less hateful. If you punch him in the face, you'd have just went you would have been the all time greatest. Yeah, I know, but... If you just punch someone in the face for doing a bit after the, the <laughs> legend the, le- the definitely the legend of Shane <laughs> so Gillis would have funny. would have rose. For sure. I, I I was proud of myself for even like I thought about it quickly. Yeah. And then yeah. I was like, Don't do that. What the yeah. fuck? Dude, I was that mad though him, that this yeah, kid so came up and was like, Oh, well, this fucking bit, dude. Don't do that to me. I give you uh, credit for that too, because I just would have told him to go home. I just would like, just go home. Like, yeah. no, we don't need whatever you're trying to please. You obviously don't have any idea as to how any of this works. I like a coward. I mean, like, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> after you, after, after, <laughs> after, after, after you eat a no. dick? Oh, fuck, no. no Get after the f- a bad set. Nah. And then you're down with it. I, I shouldn't have been there. Though. I wanted to fight that guy the one time after we did the yeah, chess factory. Some guy, like, just mentioned me. I went up before him and ate a dick. And yeah. then, like, he said something. I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. I was so mad, dude. I thought, yeah. he was, I thought Matt was, I was, I was sitting so with Matt. Mad. Yeah. And this guy got up and was like, Give it up for that future stepdad. I yeah. think it was something oh, was shitty like that. Yeah. It wasn't that even was horrible, that. dude. It, yeah, it was just dumb. But everybody kind of laughed, and then Matt, like, I looked at Matt to see if he was laughing because I was laughing. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's funny that guy talks shit. Matt was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I looked at him, and he yeah. was like looking around trying well, to he, fight. The set, so it was two nights in a row. He would take something I did and then try to just make a bit out of it himself. And then I caught the next week, he literally stole one of my premises, tried to use it, and flatlined right up front. Nice. I was like, pussy. Then I went up to afterwards. I went up to him and I was like, "You ever fucking talk shit ever again?" And he's like, "Huh?" I'm like, "I'm just kidding." <laughs> <laughs> See, that was your moment right there. You that was your moment to literally be like, "Dude, I'll fucking it's kill you." Psychotic though. Yeah, and I make mm. I, you know you can't you can't make fun of people as much as I do and then be like, "You can't make fun of me." Stop it. I yeah, bad of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, but this kid. Thankfully, somebody else walked by and I was like, "Are you friends with that guy?" He was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Go fucking talk to that guy." Nice. Go be with that guy. Oh, uh, nice. that's even more. I feel like I'd rather have someone like punch me and be like, "Oh no, he's fucking crazy." He's punching well, me no, in the face. He was. Uh, he wasn't he was all a there. Lunatic. So yeah. it was like, okay. If you want to talk shit, I can. 
you know, well, if comedy, you want to run a bit like that, we yeah. can do that. Comedy is a good space for lunatics, as we've all seen. Yeah. So it's like it's a, it's a nice safe haven. Like a lunatic can come into comedy and get like a good three years out of it before everyone's like, okay, you got to. I'd say go. it's seventy five. And f- speaking for Philadelphia, it's about seventy five percent people who. Or kind of just like running insane. away from something. Yeah. Serious. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Just kind of. It's like seventy five percent fucked up people. Yeah. Who just yeah. should be just baking under fluorescent lighting right somewhere else, and they're like, "No, I'm an artist." And yeah. It's like, yeah. All right. No, no, no you're, five years. You'll, you're not you'll an crack. artist. You're a mathematician. <laughs> like you're actually like you're actually probably a genius mathematician who has issues with family, and you need to go and and get that sorted. Are you talking about a beautiful mind, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you this story. Well, this well, is funny. Let's have it. <laughs> so, one time I was in New York, and uh, my aunt, my rich aunt, yeah. she's not an aunt, she's a family friend, but she took okay. uh, me and my girlfriend to see this performance. Okay. And it was this, like, huge, almost like a gymnasium, like a, the size of, like, a high school gym. In uh, New York? Theater. Yeah. Damn. And there were these two, like, scaffoldings, basically, at both ends. And this, I, the the play or show was just these people in like spandex suits that kept climbing up to the top of these things and jumping off and falling flat on their face onto mats. What? Yeah, and like they kept jumping and falling, and like they would go off stuff and just land fl- like belly flop off like on a foam three stories onto like a mat. And Holy fuck! It was supposed to be like powerful, like yeah. art. Yeah. Dude, I was fucking. Me and my girlfriend like looked at each other like, "Is this fucking like? Are we supposed to be like clapping?" Like everybody was like, "Oh wow!" There was people doing belly flops into like memory foam, basically. Yeah, and it was all like fucking gay dudes and white chicks. There's a bunch of gay dudes jumping on the bed, dude. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, that's what we went and saw. <laughs> and then, so at the time, like we were howling, laughing, and everyone was very serious about the show. And then. uh she read that that was like one of the most powerful shows. Like it's supposed to represent like failing and getting back up and never being that. And we just sat there like, what the fuck is this? Wait, that's what that's New York to me in a nutshell. Oh yeah. Yeah. Of like pretentious fucking nothing. Yeah. A bunch of gay people falling down <laughs> off of me. They were just belly flopping off fucking and, and, and give the, me 80 bucks. And everybody being like, wow, that was awesome. Ugh! Like, what the fuck, dude? The worst is when I, I was walking around up there, and there was like a new apartment or condominium complex being built, and I think it was Oscar Wilde. There was like a quote written on like the coming soon, like the fucking <laughs> come whatever hotels, and like the uh, the quote was like, and then he said to himself, "To live anywhere else in New York City is a joke." <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude. I got so. I was like, <laughs> to live there, to live anywhere else in New York City, one must be joking. And I was just like, motherfucker. I was so fucking mad. Yeah. I was like, you fucking idiots. That's Yeah, that's what you have to tell yourself when you're paying that's fucking... That's the demeanor every day. $3,000 a month for a fucking shoebox. Like, wow. And then shit, shit is just thrust on you all day. Like, I was there for a fucking weekend, and I was like, I need to fucking leave. Yeah. Like, I watched a guy finger his asshole and lick it. <laughs> and then these fucking people are like, well, that's New York. Ew. It's like, no, dude, you guys just live on top of each other like fucking trash. Yeah, absolutely. and literally on top of trash. Yeah, they live on they live on top of trash. Yeah, yeah. I think Manhattan's like half trash underneath it now, Ew, dude. And also, there's the there's like this constant dirt in the city. There's like this black soot you can see on the sidewalks and shit. I got real taxi driver ish up there. Like, I was like the fucking trash of the city. <laughs> I need to take out all this garbage. You should have, dude. Yeah, I got fucking. I lost my shit this week. Oh, you never made it back, dude. You just fucking... <laughs> I, uh, I almost didn't. Thank He's... God that fucking... The Rose of Rich Voss was the sickest shit I've ever seen. It was so cool. One day, dude, I'm going to lose you up there. I can't go up there. That was another thing I decided this weekend. I was like... Dude, I went up there for a month. I was like, I got to move up here. I'll, probably be, I'll was... probably be up here. Blah, blah, blah. I came back. I was like, I'm going to quit comedy, dude. Comedy sucks. New I went York into sucks. that. I went into that fucking... I did Whew. Skankfest this weekend... And that's cool. It yeah. was still cool. I was still around like really yeah. good comics. And even then I was like, fuck New York, dude. Yeah. Fuck it. There's no space. Dude, it's all fucking I'm, I'm getting, packed in. I'm getting the GBs thinking about it. When I was yeah, like dude. just in my little fucking room and there's three strangers living with me, I was like, this is fucking hell. It is hell. Ugh. I we were, the we're, dude, we're, we're Americans, dude. We were born fucking exactly. free. We're supposed to roam. Heard, heard that, dude. 
we can't be cooped up in some butthole fucking gay hive. Heard that? 